Now, this whole situation, was this what led to you getting the t-shirt? Yeah. With the, with the, the, the grave yes. gravestones? Yes, I had got the... I had got the tombstone with the AK shooting the grave with his rest in peace with him and his brother's name on it. The guy that approached you? Mm-hmm. So you put this guy's name and his brother on a tombstone yeah, with, with the, an AK-47 shooting up they tombstone, tombstones. Yeah. yeah. And let me tell you what's crazy. One of my homeboys, we used to go to this place called Wellers to get the t-shirts made. So one of my homeboys, it was a concert, Cash had a concert this night. So one of my little... Homies at the press was like, yo, I want a shirt like that. I said, well, go to Willie, he got it made. So he gets the same shirt I have. The younger brother spots him. They leave, they go get the boys out the mail. They come back, they're like about four cars deep. So they come and say, yo, boys, the mail still. So now my car's in the parking lot. I can't get to my gun or nothing. I got the police in that door. I was like, hey, can you escort me to my car? So the police escort me to my car. They was facing this way. So I come out and shot that way, point my middle finger and got away that night. But my, my, my homeboy, my president, wound up getting killed behind that. It was a female calling me, hey, can you come downtown, pick me up? He pulled up in the car and somebody sprayed the car. And he was wearing the t-shirt? One of the ones wore the t-shirt like I did. So there was two guys, you and someone else that wore this t-shirt. Yeah, he won. He followed behind me. Cause it was my idea. So I got the shirt. So when he saw that, he said, oh, I want one too. So I was like, right, I got it from where? Well, it made it for me. He still should have a, a copy of what I had done. And he went and got it done, but the little brother saw him and like, what are you doing with my name on his shirt? And he went, told the people whatever. Um, now, I'm not saying that the little brother or them the ones who killed my homeboy. I just know he got killed downtown. But the little female, you know, I talked to her and it was a lot of, you know, politics about that. Yeah, I mean, you hear of people putting RIP <laughs> t-shirts on. Their friend dies, there's a picture, right. rest in peace, some angels, whatever. But to actually put a living person's name on a t-shirt, on a gravestone, basically saying, I'm going to kill you when I see you. Facts. As a grown man, do you see how insane that was? No, yeah. yeah. I told we was young and wild. But like, we just felt like, that's why like, a lot of stuff they do it today, um, I, I don't be surprised. I am scared of these youngsters because they got switches. We ain't have all that stuff they got now. But um, yeah, I think back, that's why I be. I, I am so happy and grateful um, that Allah chose me to still be alive, to tell my testimony, to help these children out because I did a lot. I ain't must been shot up. Bullet come out the middle of my chest right here, you know? So I just look back and be like, man, we did some wild, goofy stuff. Man, we was really young and ignorant. You know, and I just sit back and watch this thing. I I, I reflect, I think back to stuff we did. And I'm like, man, that's why a lot of stuff. Uh, like I love the internet because you can never see me in life. I could go at you, you go at me. All right, cool. Once I take my phone or cut my computer, I might go with my regular life now. Mm -hmm. When I'm on this internet, well, let's do what we do. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no, right, bye. I'm going here. So that's why I don't mind the troll. Right. Well, compared to what you're used to in real life, this is yes. a whole lot of nothing. Cakewalk, man. The cakewalk. Right. Bring it.